from the Norfolk coast. These are the first images of the Gloucester made public. The secrets of the Gloucester have been hidden under Norfolk's waters for hundreds of years until now. I can just see looming in the distance um, big black um, shapes, shadows if you like, on the seabed. Boom, really excited, obviously wreckage. And literally by another four or five metres I'm kneeling on the seabed looking at this um, amazing shipwreck. Um, just, just in awe. What was so nice is on the day we found it, Dad was out there as well, yeah, with us, so all three of us together. The brothers couldn't be sure whether they'd found what some are calling Norfolk's Mary Rose. Well, we were both inspired by the Mary Rose. As youngsters, we saw them lifting the hull, and that always stuck in our mind. Uh, and I think that's what led us towards looking for older shipwrecks. Mm. Um, I mean, there was certainly a moment heading back in of, wow, this could be the gloss. We still need to 100% identify it, and it felt like we found her. But it is what next. It is a, a light bulb moment. There's lots more to be done. And because we're the only people at that particular moment in time who knew where she was. Very, very special. Divers' dreams. The brothers spent four years and covered thousands of nautical miles to find the Gloucester. But a key moment came with the discovery of the ship's bell. I saw in the distance um, just a curved shape. Instantly just knew this is, uh, you know, you, you'd had a double look at it and uh, you kind of trained for. The, you know, your mind's trying to look for these curves uh, and uh, instantly knew it was the bell uh, and Julian was disappearing into the gloom swimming past the bell <laughs> I'll try to stop saying that uh, and uh, he's disappearing into the gloom and I just grabbed his fin got him back and I was so relieved and then we just shared the moment together The brothers have discovered many rare objects and the discovery of the Gloucester has academics and historians excited about what might be next The artefacts that are being rescued are unparalleled in their diversity and in terms of their richness. As a royal vessel with uh, very significant political individuals travelling in style, this offers us a time capsule of how that travel took place. From childhood dream to reality, the Barnwell brothers have found the Gloucester and thus written themselves in the annuals of history. Two brothers from Norfolk discovering a piece of national history. How does it feel? Wow, uh, it, it has been a strange build-up because we've kept it to ourselves and close circle of friends for so long. And um, to tell the world about it now and, and the nation is just, wow. You know, and it's just, as I said earlier, dry, a diver's dream. And it's so nice to be sharing it. But this is just the beginning of the journey and there's a lot more fun to be had. This may well turn out to be Norfolk's Mary Rose, but only time will tell if this 17th century ship can be salvaged from the sea. This is Ed Crawford for GB News.